Well, hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, I got a message from Jesus. Today is March 11th, 2023. I, cl I claim Jesus Christ came to earth in the flesh as a man and he died on the cross for us. And he rose three days later or rose on the third day, whatever you guys say. So I find it interesting because, you know, I've told you in previous messages that God always answers my comments. And someone called me an oracle or something the other day or said the word oracle I didn't, I'll be honest, I didn't, I didn't, wasn't sure what that was. I thought maybe they were saying I was evil or something. I, I wasn't sure. But the Lord gave me a scripture today with the word oracle in it. <laughs> so it's, I can't explain these things, guys. It's, just, it's Jesus. He's awesome. Okay. So March 11, 2023. 1 Thessalonians 2, 8. So affectionately longing for you, we were well pleased to impart to you not only the gospel of God, but also our own lives because you had become dear to us. Mark 4, 9. And he said to them, He who has ears to hear, let him hear. Luke 2, 11. For there is born to you this day in the city of David a Savior who is Christ the Lord. James 3, 7. For every kind of beast and bird of reptile and creature of the sea is tamed and has been tamed by mankind. John 4, 12. Are you greater than our father Jacob who gave us the well and drank from it himself as well as his sons and lives and his livestock? Okay. So here's a message. My child, I'm coming soon. I've given you chance after chance, but all you do is defy me. You are broken and your heart is hardened and you won't come to me to give you rest. Why do you seek death? Why do you seek destruction? Don't you know my arms are stretched out towards you and you disregard them and disregard me? Oh, how I wish you would come to me. There's ominous skies and it's going to get worse. My people seek protection from me and their eyes are open. They see and they believe in my words. Do you not see the evidence all around you? Obama is rising. I told you he would. Chaos and destruction is here. Do you see the troops lining up? Do you still think there's, there's no war coming? Oh, ye little faith, you will wake up eventually, but unfortunately, it will be too late. I already know who are with me and who is against me. I see everyone's heart and I am in control of everyone's soul. Why do you deny me? Oil lamps, are they full? Have you prayed to me today? Have you worshipped me, me today? Have you spoke to me today? Have you read my words today? People will perish for their lack of knowledge. Holy Spirit is knowledge and truth. Don't just read. Listen to the Spirit. Let Him show you truth. My people are waiting for me and they look up every day. Are you looking up every day? Are you watching the moon? The rainbow colors in the sky, that's for me. Has my coming been delayed? Oh, ye little faith, not everything meets the eye. Did I leave you signs in the heavens? Do they align with my coming? Oh, ye little faith, wake up, O sleeper. The people slept when the groom came. Do you not understand yet? Every day, every hour, every calendar, every time zone means something. Every sign. Do you think all of it meets the eye? You are so stubborn with your sinful nature. You scoff at your neighbor and I have designed some things only the Spirit will understand. So if you aren't walking with the Holy Spirit and walking with me, you will miss everything. My words of knowledge, people. They try so hard to understand the meaning behind all my words and signs. I love them dearly. I am pleased with them because they are watching for me. They are trying to wake up my children. My dreamers, I come to them when they sleep. My messages are true. It will all come to pass. My visionaries, I show them the future so they can warn my people. My prophets, they speak truths. Look at their fruits. My people who spread the good news and share my truths. I love you and your faithful hearts. Don't you see I love all my children? They are my sheep. They know my voice and they hear me calling them home. If you are guided by the Holy Spirit, you are walking with me. Follow me. Pick up your cross and I will show you the way. Guadanamo Bay is coming and once it happens, you will understand why. Don't question my prophets. They speak my words. They speak my truths. Rain, lots of rain. There are reasons I say these things. I am trying to warn you because I don't want anyone to perish. Is it real rain? First comes rain, then comes war. Italy, my child destruction. 
or Italy, my child, destruction and chaos coming. Jamestown will get an explosion, <clears throat> not just a train, a municipal building. Darkness is here, evil lurking everywhere. Do you feel a tug in your spirit? Do you feel uneased and not relax? It's the enemy distracting you. You look to me for comfort and peace, and I will bring a peace over you you have never felt before. Then he gave me Galatians 4.11. I am afraid for you, lest I have labored for you in vain. Then he said, Pittsburgh, the earth will shake. I have warned and warned and warned. Time to perform my word. Deuteronomy 6.9. You shall write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates. Philippians 2.8 And being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even the death of the cross. Job 16.5 But I would strengthen you with my mouth, and the comfort of my lips would relieve your grief. Genesis 28.3 May God Almighty bless you and make you fruitful and multiply you, that you may be an assembly of peoples. Matthew 6, 19, do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal. 1 Peter 4, 11, <clears throat> if anyone speaks, let him speak as the oracles of God. See, I didn't know that was in there. So that was crazy that he gave me that verse today. If anyone ministers, let him do it as with the ability which God supplies that in all things God may be glorified glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong the glory and the dominion forever and ever. Amen. Second Peter 2.13 And will receive the wages of unrighteousness as those who count it pleasure to carouse in the daytime. They are spots and blemishes carousing in their own deceptions while they feast with you. Digital currency is here. You haven't seen it yet, but it's coming. Why are you buying gold? Did they tell you to buy gold? Test every spirit. They are not all for me. I told you Obama would be on CNN. The global parade. Did you see Korea? Do you see the Baphomet statues all over? The whole world is now producing evil. My judgment is here. Keep looking up, children. Keep looking up, children. Cognitive disruption. It's coming. And it's not cyberspace attacks. It's my interference to give you more time. If I didn't want to save you, I wouldn't have intervened. I love you, my children, and I am coming. Every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess I am Lord. I hear you, children. I hear your prayers. Oh, how I love my faithful ones. You strive to please me because of the love you have for me. You have no ill will or bad intentions. You love your neighbor and you correct your neighbor out of love and compassion. Keep looking up. Your redemption draws nigh. I am with you. When two or more speak in my name, I declare and decree my will will be done. My lost children come to me. Let me give you rest. Believe in me. Confess your sins to me and I will forgive you. My Jews. Oh, I love my Jews, but some hearts are so hardened and they wait for a Messiah. But I have shed my blood on the cross for, I'm sorry, but I have already shed my blood on the cross for them. Oh, how I wish they would open their hearts to me and let me save them. Jeremiah 5, 9. Shall I not punish them for these things, says the Lord? And shall I not avenge myself on such a nation as his? Exodus 21, 5. But if the servant plainly says, I love my master, my wife, and my children, I will not go out free. Ecclesiastes 2, 11. Then I looked on the words works that my hands had done and on the labor in which I had toiled. And indeed, all was vanity and grasping for the wind. There was no profit under the sun. Philippians 4.13, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And then Numbers 5.11, <clears throat> and the Lord spoke to Moses saying, all right, guys, that was the message. Um, you don't believe in Jesus, ask him to come into your life, believe in him, confess your sins. And guys, he will forgive you. He, he loves all of his children. So, okay, guys, have a blessed day.